Hello, good morning brothers and sisters. Welcome to our morning daily devotion. And uh, today I would like to uh, talk about always return to the Word of God. Always return to the Word of God. And uh, it's taken from Psalms 119 verses 67 to 68. Two verses, yeah. And I'm taking this from the New Living Translation. And it reads this way. 67. I used to wander off until you disciplined me, but now I closely follow your word. 68. You are good and do only good. Teach me your decrees. Amen. You know, no matter how far or how distant we have may gone in life, you know, just like sheep in our fallen nature, uh, in our weakness, uh, we have counted sleep, isn't it? We wandered away from God's path at times, isn't it? But remember, even like in Proverbs 14, 12, it says that, you know, there is a way which seems right to a man, but in the end, it leads to death. Sometimes, you know, we think and so we deceive ourselves to say that mm, we know what we are doing and we think that whatever we are doing, it is the right thing. And, and even though, uh, to be honest, we are already at the brink of the edge. Yet, in God's very own character, the uh, Bible says, in His goodness, out of His boundless love and unending mercy and grace for us, He always pursues us. He always draws us back to Him. In Hebrews 12 verse 6, it says that because the Lord's discipline, the ones that He loves, and He chastens everyone He accepts as His son. If you know that you are God's child, you know, you are His children, and that you belong to Him, God will bring the needed correction, so much so that we will not be destroyed. Sometimes, you know, for us, it's easy to say that, no, yeah, I follow God, and to say that I love Him when things are going well and swell. Many times that could lead us, in fact, to a place of like uh, a comfort, you know. Then we easily wander off and we get distracted and then we go on to do our own thing. And therefore, God loves us so much uh, that He will do whatever it takes to get us, to get our attention. Sometimes, you know, God's form of discipline it involves a difficulty, a struggle, a hardship. Sometimes it involves pain and sometimes even it involves our health. You know, but it's crucial no matter how or however God has dealt with us, we must remember He has dealt with us better than we deserve. That meaning to say that we actually deserve hell. We deserve worse, far worse than this. We deserve to be separated from God. But when God disciplines us, it's because He chastened us, because He loved us. And it's ultimately always, always only for our good. You know, we may be, be, be tempted to and drawn to think otherwise, you know, that God, um, He's messing with our lives. But no, only God's word is always true and every man proves a liar. Even our own deceptive thoughts. Verse 67 is as good as it gets as the promise alone is more than enough for us to hold on to. What is this? 67, let's read again. It says, you are good and what? Do only good. That is our God. He only does good in His own goodwill, in His nature. He will only do that, not otherwise, not for evil, not anything lesser than the value of good. You know, sometimes when God disciplines us, we may not like it. We may not be happy uh, with the new changes or with the new surrounding that is happening, that causing us, you know, to, uh, to, to turn to, uh, because we cannot help ourselves, we need to turn to somebody. Oh, but it is surely good when it causes us to swallow our pride, isn't it? When it causes us, we got nothing else to do but to bend our knees and call a God or call upon God in prayer. That is a good U turn for us. Now, it did not say how many times that the psalmist had to go through 
the Lord's discipline. The Lord's discipline. But one thing is sure and certain that the psalmist finally he would resolute and go back and return to what? He returned to the book of instruction. That is the word of God. He says what? But now I closely follow your word. Teach me your decrees, your commands. How many of us, I mean church, how many of us, we would go through the struggle, we go through the pain. But after that, ultimately what? We would rather complain, isn't it? God, you don't understand. God, you don't know what kind of hell I'm going through. If you really love me, why do I have to go through this mess, isn't it? We will ask this question. But how many of us today, after going through the lost discipline, the chastening, how many of us can still say the same for our lives? Just like what the Sami said, teach me your word, help me follow your commands, teach me the right path to take and give me wisdom. Brothers and sisters, this is and will only be the path and the way that God will want us to keep towards to. No matter how far we've run, no matter how deep the struggle that we might have to go through, we must return closely and follow the Word of God. You know what I like, I like about uh, Simon Peter, the disciple of Jesus? He said to Jesus, he said, Lord, to whom? Where shall we go? Where can we go to? And then what he said? He said, you have the words of eternal life. Yes, today, maybe you may have been felt like you will have been lost, you know. Sometimes, maybe perhaps you've been, been feeling uh, we are, you know, confused with all that is happening around us, the news, the government, whatever. Once again, let us return to Jesus. He is the living word of God. Amen? Yeah. Let Jesus and His word bring clarity and illuminate us and let His word refresh us again. Let us remember whether the Lord is chastening us, you know, but remember also whatever that He does, He is always, He never changes. He remains the same. He is good. He, whatever He do for us, do towards us, is ultimately for our good. And that should always cause us to return back to His Word. Allow me to end today's devotion with this scripture. I find it so apt. And uh, that the psalmist here, he says that after finally all the ordeal, all the troubles, all the the struggles that he had to go through, he can still conclude this scripture in his heart. Psalms 119 verse 105, it says this, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. You know, as you receive the word of the Lord for this day, may the word of God continue to enrich you uh, and bless you your life each day as you continue to live for Him. Amen? God bless you. You have a great day.